you know? How you doing? Uh, first of all, congratulations on your win, mate. Uh, Thank you. Against a tough debut guy from the UK, so no, very fair play to you there. Um, first of all, UFC debut. I know last time we saw you fight was exactly a year ago, wasn't it? 18th of March 2022 yep. on PFL. Yep. Um, so how, how was your whole experience, you know, before the fight coming to the UFC, you know, getting your, getting your clothes, getting your t-shirts, your shorts, all that sort of thing? Well, uh, you know, UFC is uh, on a different uh, level than any other uh, promotion. So they're very professional and, uh, you know, like the whole staff also is very nice people. And, uh, well... Uh, it's very good. good. Yeah, but, and when you were making that walk, when you made that first walk to the UFC cage, you know, did you feel the atmosphere from the UK fans? If they may not have been cheering as much, but yeah, yeah, of course you feel like you know they're loud and everything. And like you said, like my opponents from here, so obviously they're gonna be with him. But uh, that doesn't change anything because you know when you're in the cage, you know when it closes, the crowd doesn't not gonna help you. So. I don't care too much about that, you know. And in the fight, there was um, quite a large height difference. He was yeah. a very, very tall guy, and it's the first thing I thought for. He's, he's a tall guy. You, yeah. know, to, um, you knew that coming in. Was that part of the game plan, obviously, to get inside <clears> and land the stronger shots? Yeah, yeah, to be honest. Like, uh, the overhands work very well against tall guys. And, uh, like, most of the fights, like, all the guys are taller than me. So, I'm used to it. Like, I'm always, like, the small one, you know, so... Would dropping to bantamweight be an option for you? Would that bantamweight? Not oh, featherweight, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely. Oh man, kill you. <laughs> even no, not featherweight. No, no. I like to eat too much, man. It's too hard. And uh, one more for me. Did you find it was uh, a bit of a late stoppage in that, or did you feel, you know? Well, you know, the guy was out, man. He was moving a little bit, but I mean, he could have stopped that before eating these shots. Like every shot on end, like I, op I opened his face. So I mean, if you could stop that. Why not? I mean, but he's, your, the, he's the referee, so he's his decision, you know. Your, your job is to keep going until the yeah, referee Yeah, of course, stops, yeah. of course, until, like, you know, I win, I go. Congratulations. I can't wait to see you again, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. Right here on the front. Uh, when he threw that kick, it seems like a kind of lazy setup, and you kind of took advantage of that opening. Did you know, did you see that opening in preparation, or did you just take advantage of it in the moment? When I threw the kick? Oh, uh, yeah, like... Um, because before that happened, like, he was throwing kicks, like, not too powerful. So I was, like, you know, planning, like, I was waiting for him to throw something so I can, you know, go inside. So in work, you know, so I grabbed him, punch, and keep going, and I knock him out. And did you see him trying to, when Mark Goddard stood him up, he thought the fight was still happening. He was trying to, like, grapple well, with Mark Goddard. I didn't see that. <laughs> I was too excited, you know, just going around. But... Uh, yeah, I watched him after that. He was like, he, he had a hard time to stand up, so I knew it was serious, you know. He got good shots. You know, just over here. Yeah. Uh, you said in the cage that you have hands like Mike Tyson. <laughs> Is, you know, this finish a sign of, of things to come for you? Uh, can you... A little the bit, last bit? So, so I can understand more? I didn't understand, yeah. So this, this finish, this yeah. win, yeah. is this a sign of things to come? Is this what we can expect to see from you in the future? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I love to throw shots. Like, uh, I think that's my biggest advantage I have. Like, I have power in my hands. Like, I know it, you know. So, I mean, if the guy is in front of me, you want to stand with me, you're going to see a lot of it. And, and what, do you, what do you want next? You know, when, when do you want to get back in there? And is there anyone in particular that you have your eye on? <clears throat> I don't have no one in particular, but, uh, you know, I'm healthy. I'm good. So in three months, I'm going to come back or something like that. And there is obviously a big lightweight fight coming up. Uh, we have Benil Dariush taking on Charles Oliveira. What's your thoughts about that fight? How do you see that playing out? Hmm. Well, uh, I think uh, Benil Dariush will win this one. Because um, he's uh, more like, uh, he's more experienced guy too. I mean, Charles Oliveira did a lot of fights too, but you know, he, he kind of quits. I mean, I don't, I mean, I respect him and in, in everything. I don't underestimate him. Uh, but 
you know, Benil Darush, you know, it's, it's better for me. Like, in my opinion, he's better. He's going to win this fight. Thank you.